I'm Lisa Michelle. I like creating content to help new and aspiring entrepreneurs start and grow their first online business. So if you like creating puzzle books or coloring pages to sell on Etsy or KDP or anything like that, this video may be of interest to you because what I'm going to do is show you how I create coloring pages for free um, using images, royalty free images. And then I'll actually show you how I use those pages to create a book using BookBolt. So let's go ahead and, and get started. So the first thing we'll do is download pictures from Pixabay. I've already downloaded three images. And just to show you here, um, according to the Pixabay license, these images are free for commercial use and you don't have to do any attribution. As long as you do not sell unaltered copies of an image. So this one applies to us because we're not using an unaltered copy of the image. We're going to actually use this image that I found and turn it into a black and white coloring page. So I just want to show you that you can use their images as long as you do not do any of these things here. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to use photo P to turn them into coloring pages. So let's see how this gets, uh, how this works. If you're not familiar, Photo P is a free software that's very similar to Photoshop. Um, and I don't use Photoshop a lot and I only use Photo P for very limited uh, purposes, but I am going to use it for, for this. So we'll do a new project and we're going to make this page eight and a half by 11. So we'll just do that there. And then we'll select, we'll do create. Let's go ahead and just use this canvas here. We'll go to file, open in place. And if you go to download, actually, you know what? I can go to download and pick the picture here, but there's an easier way to do that. So go ahead and place the picture here. And what we're going to do is go to image and go to trans, I'm sorry, go to adjustments and then go to black and white. And you'll see right away, most of that color is already gone. So we'll go ahead and play with these settings here just to take out as much of that color as we can. Well, it's a coloring book, right? So we didn't want a whole lot of shading in there. And for this, it's just as simple as that. And the reason that it's working so well with this image is because it's got a very clear black outline. So for this one, it's relatively easy to do. We'll click OK. You can also go to image adjustments and sometimes go to uh, color balance or hue um, saturation, but I think this one is already um, pretty good. All right, so we don't wanna mess around and mess this one up. Okay, all right, so we'll do okay. And we're gonna go ahead and download this one as a PNG. And then we'll do the same thing I'm going to do another um, page and this time I'm just going to up, um, like drag it from from here and we'll do the same thing we'll go to image adjustment black and white okay now this time this one has a background so we're going to remove the background but other than that I think this one is pretty good to go as well all right, so we'll just go ahead and, and download this one. And yeah, this one's good to go. All right, we'll do one more. And I believe it's this cat here. Okay, as you can tell, they're all cats. So we do like a cat theme. But of course you can use whatever pictures you want. And um, in addition to Pixabay, you can also use Raw Pixel. I mean, there are a lot of other websites out there that will allow you to use their images but you have to make sure the license will allow you to use it without attribution and you can just google royalty free or creative commons images or illustrations because it's definitely easier to use an illustration than a photo to do this in photo p so Okay, so this one has a little bit of gray in it, but I think it's still okay. 
Okay, so we'll just go ahead and download this one as well. All right, so now that we have our three pictures that we've we've touched up a little bit, we're going to go into Canva. And here I've already created a, like a title page because um, you don't want your book to just start out with the you know first coloring page. If you can create a title page, I think that's ideal. So what I'm going to do is just drag um, the images that we have from PhotoP in here. And then we'll go to edit image and then see if we can get rid of that gray. Okay, so just use you know the, the controls here just to adjust it because you don't want the lines to be too light, right? That's too light. But you want to keep it so you have no gray. All right. That's good. And we'll add a page and then we'll drag this other cat here. Now, because I'm using the free version of Canva, I can't remove the background of this one. So let's just come, we'll come back to that one because there is a free way to do that. All right. And then I think the last one was this one here. And we'll see if we can also get rid of this. Um, gray one here okay so that's good all right so that's pretty good all right all right let's go ahead and go to this website to get rid of this background and if we go to remove.bg let's see is this the right image not sure. Okay. All right. So if we just drag this image here, it should remove the background for us. So we can download it and then go back to Canva. And we can actually delete this one. And we'll go ahead and put this one that has no background. One picture. There you go. And it's there. And I'm not sure if we did anything. Okay, so I'm just trying to make the lines as dark as possible. Oh, I'm making it okay. So that's I think that's the best we can do on that one. All right. So we've got our three pictures, and of course, obviously, you can do as many as you want. And if, as long as your margins are set up properly in um, Canva, you could just go ahead and print your um, or download your book from here. I mean, you can add the titles or page numbers, you know, other elements in here to make it look really nice, of course. But for this video, I'm just showing you how to actually, you know, make the images um, into coloring pages. Okay. So you want to make these look as good as possible. All right. So we've got all of these. Now, what we want to do is download each individual page as PDF print. We don't want to download them all because then we'll wind up with a zip file and we don't want that. All right, so we've got four pages. I'm just going to download each one separately. And I already did a video um, showing how to create a crossword puzzle, not a crossword puzzle, a word search puzzle. Oh, that's PNG how to do a um, word search puzzle using BookBolt. And I will go ahead and link that here in case you're interested in doing that. The last one was PNG by mistake, so I'm doing that. It's PDF print. Two more. And these are really nice. Um, you can do a themed puzzle book for the holidays. You could do one around Thanksgiving or around Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or anything you want. And when you have the ability to actually use free images, I mean, the, the sky is the limit, really. You just want to just find images that have that dark black outline because those do come out the best, I find, when you're removing the color. All right, so now I'm going to go into BookBolt. All right, and when you first go to BookBolt, you'll go to BookBolt Designer, and then you'll come, you'll get to this page. What we're going to use is Interior Pro. And you'll see it says first page. This is Interior Upload. 
what we're going to do is upload the four pages that we created in Canva. Okay, so these are all here. That's why we didn't want to download them all together to get that zip file because then it, this wouldn't work. So we're going to go to first page and then you'll see all the pages that we just um, uploaded in addition to a lot of the free pages that BookBolt offers. So you can see, I mean, I don't want to get off track, but you can see all the different types of pages that are available to you um, using BookBolt. So you can create all types of books using this uh, software. All right, so we want to select this first page and that makes it the first page. Click on plus, click on page two, and we'd pick whatever page we wanted to be um, page two, right? As easy as that. This can be page two. This can be page four. And the reason that this is so great is because, look, let's say we were doing a book where we, you know what, let's go ahead and just actually create this page. Let's say we wanted to have a coloring book, we wanted to have maybe the handwriting pages kind of in between, right? We'll go ahead and add a page and let's do this line. Okay, I'm gonna do the line, make it a little bit thinner and we're just gonna do this right now. So since it's for kids, we don't want the lines to be too far apart, I mean too close together. So we're going to duplicate this a few times and we're going to just go ahead and make a handwriting practice page. Okay. They don't have to be uh, perfect and we'll duplicate this and we'll grab it and move that here and then we'll duplicate it one more time, put that here. All right. Okay. And then what you want to do now is just select all of the lines, go to position, go to space evenly, and you click on vertically. It just makes them so they're all evenly distributed. And that's, that's it. So you don't have to ever pay for a journal page again. You can, you see how easy and quick that was. All right. So we'll download that as a PDF print. Then we'll go back to book bolt. Now we can delete these. If we wanted, let's say we wanted to make this a handwriting page, right? We'll upload it, the handwriting page that we just did. Okay, go back to the interior and it should be done. Go to the third page and now we've got this page here that we can add. We can add, you know, two or three, you know, handwriting practice pages and then add the you know the other coloring page so you can do as many as you want and up here you can do number two and then click on the page now you've got two handwriting pages and then maybe now you want to do the last coloring page so that's why i like book bolt because it really makes it easy to build your book if you have pages from different sources or different types of pages it just makes it really easy to do so I always select bleed and then when we download it what we'll have is, I guess now our nine page um, book. And you just do as many pages as you want. Okay, open. And we should have it here momentarily. But yeah, so if you, you know, if you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments. Um, but yeah, BookBolt makes building these books really easy. You see how you can use PhotoP to find images on websites like Pixabay or Raw Pixels or anything like that where they offer free, royalty free images. You can create a coloring book almost free. Okay, so that's gonna do it for me. Um, thank you for watching the video. I look forward to your questions in the comments and until next time, peace.